Hey my cuties, how have you all been? Honestly, it's been such a long time since I last vlogged and it feels so good to be back. Today's vlog is going to be a prep with me for summer 2024 vlog. Recently, I did a video on my channel like showcasing um, like a complete guide to prep for summer 2024 and it's so embarrassing that I haven't myself done any of those steps to prep for summer. So I thought today is the day that I have to prep for summer 2024 and I decided to take you guys along with me in the journey so yeah let's get started okay so the first step to prep for summer is going to be having a guilt session for those of you who don't know what a guilt is guilt basically means get your life together in which you're going to complete all of those tasks which have been pending since a very long time and once you complete these tasks your life is going to get on track so i definitely have many of those kind of tasks pending since a very long time so we're going to get that done today so let's have a guilt session first so I think I need to first like make a list of all the things that I want to get done with this guilt session. So I think I should get started with that. So this is basically my guilt session list. I think we should get started with one by one and get going. Finally got done cleaning. It took me around one and a half hour to clean everything but yeah finally done. Next I'm gonna be going on a stroll to get some stuff for the next activity in Guild which is going to be DIYing some stuff. Like there are so many things that have been uh, lying around which I have to DIY since such a long time. So finally I'm going to get all the stuff which is required to DIY them and then um, continue with the second activity of Guild. the next day hey my cuties it's the next day yesterday i didn't really do much i went on a stroll to get all the stuff for diy and i met a friend on the way and i kind of lost track of time so today uh, we have to do a lot more things and also i have started this vlog pretty late it's like almost seven right now in the evening of course but um i still hope we can get done with much more things and probably this vlog will continue tomorrow as well but i just hope we get to do much more things today first things first so i'm gonna start with diy slash repairing things and trust me i kind of have a lot of them to do so i think we should get started I'm almost done with my DIYing slash the bag stuff. So I put uh, like I had to DIY two bags. I've put them to wash so that I can DIY them later. And also I washed all my makeup brushes and um, cleaned all the containers. Now all I need to do is DIY my old jeans, which um, I'll probably make a separate video on or I'll just show it in this vlog, guys, like literally. So um, I think we should get started with that. 
Also, here are the washed makeup brushes, by the way. And this is the jean that I have to DIY. I'm honestly contemplating on whether I should do it or not. Like, the thing is... So, I think I want to do it some other day because uh, I haven't really planned anything, like, what I need to do with this. Of course, I want to turn it into a short, but I don't really know, like, I have to, like, watch a video or something. So, I think I'm going to just uh, schedule it into some other day. And uh, I think we should get started with the rest of the guilt session. Also, the left out things in my um, guilt list is basically getting my cycle repaired and then organizing cutlery and also uh, trying on some of my old denims, which I'm not sure if they fit me or not. So I want to like try it on and make sure they fit me or else I'm going to just give it to someone else. And also... I, and also I need to make a bookmark so these are the things that are left out in my guilt list uh, out of which I can only complete I think uh, trying the denims and then like organizing the cutlery and also like making the bookmark because um, getting the cycle repaired is not possible today because it's kind of already day today so I'm probably gonna go tomorrow and get that done I think I need to just uh, get all these things which are um, on the list right now and then we'll be good to go Okay, so these are literally all the denims that I have to try. These are all dark colored, which I kind of don't like anymore. But yeah, let's still try and see. This is the outfit number one. I've honestly never really worn this outside for any kind of event. I don't know why is that. Um, so I think it's so slay, except it just doesn't fit me anymore. I think it's been almost five years uh, since I bought it. So yeah, makes sense. It doesn't fit me. Like from the front, it looks all okay. But from the back, the zip is kind of tight. So um, I either need to get this altered or I'm probably just gonna give this away to someone. But I, um, but yeah, I think this fit is awesome. I wish I would have worn it outside. I don't know why I didn't. Like what was wrong with me? Why did I buy such outfits if I never was if I was never gonna wear them? Anyways, um, let's get to the next outfit. Okay, outfit number two. Here we go. I've clearly grown way too tall <laughs> to be wearing this. Um, yeah, this was bought again around like four or five years ago. I don't know why I still keep this kind of stuff like but it does like a lot of my old clothes do fit me this one fits perfect like, according to the size but it's just that I have grown too tall for me to be wearing this dungaree right now and also it's not like it's really my style anymore so I think I'm gonna just give this away to um, anyone or maybe sell it okay so jean number three I guess fits me perfectly like I love this so I think I'm definitely gonna keep this one let's go jean number four I no actually this is jean number four no actually this is jean number five because jean number four didn't really fit me so I had to like give that away now this is what jean number five looks like and honestly, this was cut by myself. Like, I didn't really have any pair of, like, toned jeans back then. So, I decided to take one of the good pair and just cut them and make them toned jeans. And I definitely regret doing so now. And honestly, I don't even wear toned jeans anymore. So, I'm honestly contemplating if I should keep this or not. I think I'm just going to keep it and maybe... Okay, I'm definitely not going to wear it anytime soon, but who knows, in future, I might need the same pants and I would have given it away and that time I don't have it. So, we're just going to keep it in case of an emergency. So, by this, we complete uh, the task number four or so in the guilt list, which is to try on my denims. Okay, I'm finally done trying on the denims. Honestly, it's too hot in here because I didn't turn on the fan because... If I do so, then you wouldn't be able to hear my voice as loud. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go and have my dinner and um, 
probably watch something after which I'm sure I'm not gonna be doing anything so I think we should just continue tomorrow morning with the bookmark and uh, the organizing cutlery and getting my cycle repaired with which I'll be done with all of my guilt lists and then we can start with the actual prep for summer right away so let's go the next day Hey guys, it's the next day and I'm in the terrace. It's almost like 9.30 in the night right now. I've come here to make bookmark and I honestly think the air here is so cool and so nice. So I thought maybe I should paint under the stars and here I am. So let's get started. So this is how I have set everything up. Also how cute is that mini um, watercolor palette. I initially went to the stationery shop to get this one but then... Um, he gave me this i didn't know this was like watercolor tubes i actually don't know how to use this but he gave me this and then while coming back i saw so that it wasn't the watercolor palette instead it was tubes so i went into another shop and asked for watercolor palette and i found this mini cute one which was just for rupees 30 how cute is this so we're gonna be using this one today so we're gonna be using this one for one bookmark and this one for another bookmark This is the inspo. This is how my bookmarks look like. This one has turned out okayish, but look at this. So ridiculous. This one too I saw from the, an image and did it. And this one I kind of used my own inspiration. <laughs> you can say and it's so bad. Hello, it's next day and now that we have finally completed our guilt list, I think it's time to actually start prepping for summer. So let's start by making a vision board in my laptop on Pinterest. So this is how my feed looks like on Pinterest. Now uh, we are going to be creating a summer mood board. So let's get started with that. So I am finally done with my summer vision board. Next step is to make a summer bucket list. So yeah, I'll be making my bucket list in this notebook because uh, initially even I thought of making it in like an A4 sheet but um, I might lose it but I'm gonna need it next year as well for like inspiration or something. So I'm gonna be making it in a notebook. And also I'm gonna be using this pouch which has um, all of my like color pens, sketch pens, brush pens and all.
finally done with my summer bucket list. Now it's time to schedule it. Okay, so now that I'm finally done with my bucket list, I'm gonna schedule them into my planner um, probably at night. Um, like I usually plan my next day at night, so I'm gonna be like planning out or like scheduling my bucket list activities into my planner today night. I think now I need to make like a purchase list for all the things that I um, might need for completing all my bucket list. So I'm done making my purchase list, now let's move on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is to build a summer wardrobe on which I'll be making another video very soon on my channel. So stay tuned for that. After which is to build a summer skincare, body care and hair care routine, which I've already done. And then the next step is to plan summer nails. I've already planned my summer nails and saved a few nail aesthetic pictures into my um, Pinterest board. And uh, then the next step is to um, make summer... Um, playlist so i'm not done with that so let's do that so i'm just going to spotify on my computer and i'm just gonna randomly save all the um, songs that i would want to listen to this summer into a new summer playlist okay so i'm finally done making summer playlists as well the next few steps are um creating new habits and uh, adding them to your routines which i have already done so i think by this i have completed my prepping for summer i don't know how this vlog has turned out to be to be really honest but i do hope so that um you guys enjoyed this vlog and it kind of inspired you if it did so then please do not uh, forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video until then love yourself be safe and be happy bye